In this video, we are gonna be talking comics. Let's get into it. Um, I picked up a comic haul from Cookie and the Haydens uh, channel on an auction. I paid 35 pounds for the comics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these comics with you um, and show you what comics I got. I'm also going to leave a link in the description to Cookie and Hayden's channel. They're amazing um, e-commerce sellers or resellers. Uh, brilliant guys. So it'd be great if you can sub to their channel. Also, he's doing um, a B-class kind of vintage movie channel as well, which I'm really excited about. I'll leave a link in the description about that for you uh, movie buffs. Yeah, he's done an intro to it, but he's not done the official first video yet. He might have done by the time this one goes up, but... Yeah, I'll leave a link for that. So I'm gonna go through the comics and show you what comics I got. I'm not gonna go through the value of the comics because I don't know what the value is on a lot of them. I'm waiting actually for a parcel of comic covers so I can package them quite nicely. A lot of them are pretty much in near mint condition. A few of them are in good condition and a couple are not so great, which I'll probably keep. It's really difficult actually because I love comics and um, it's a good excuse for me to start collecting comics with a load like this, but I'm not gonna do it. They are for resale. You're gonna wanna stick around to the end of this video though because I'm gonna show you how to discover what issue the comic is, uh, if the comic is a variant or not, and show you what print the comic is. Um, it's gonna be awesome to do that with you. So I'm gonna do that sort of towards the end. But first, we're just gonna go through the comics, so let's do it. There is a few comics to go through, so I'll try and be as quick as I can. Um, yeah, so we'll start with this one. This is Marvel Studios comic. It's Captain America First Vengeance. Just there, how awesome is that? Tempted to read them as I do it, but I won't. Sounds like someone's cutting their grass. Next is a DC comic, and this is Robin. Uh, comic here this one has a tear in it so not resell value but I'll probably frame it and keep it for myself um, another one is another DC Robin comic just there I mean 35 pound is a great price for these by the way an absolutely fantastic price I got over 40 comics here and even if I sold them at a pound a piece I'll be in profit but I do know there's some gems in here which is awesome uh, next up we have the hard Corpse, and this is um, an awesome comic. It looks awesome as well. Next up is Onyx. Next up is a DC comic. It is the Justice League Dark. Next up is Heroes for Hire. This is Luke Cage, I think. It doesn't say, actually. It says Marvel, but it's definitely Luke Cage. It's gotta be. Next up is this Vertigo comic. This is a tiny comic. Um, Constantine Hellblazer. Next, we have The Walking Dead, which is in pretty much mint condition. Another awesome comic there. Absolutely love that comic. Next we have another Marvel Civil War 2. I'm a big Marvel fan. I collect the Marvel DVDs. M's if you're watching. I need them DVDs. Next we have another Marvel uh, Bucky the Winter Soldier. Do, 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 do. And, uh, oh, this one is a DC comic. Argus, I think that's how you say it. I've never really been a DC fan. I've always been a Marvel fan. Oh, look at this. Marvel Hellcats. Come on. That is a that is a nice comic. Keep that one on one side for a minute. Oh, another Hellcat. Check that out. As you can tell, I haven't gone through it myself yet. <laughs> that's another Hellcat comic. That's Marvel absolutely fantastic next we have um, a DC comic the green arrow oh this sounds good another Marvel one which is Daredevil have you seen this series on Netflix 
Daredevil is fantastic. You should watch that if you get a chance. Another DC, I think. No, this is Marvel. This is um, Young Allies. Comic. Another Marvel Daredevil comic there. In great condition as well. I'm going to have to look into this one. This is grim. But I think it's a special print because it doesn't have any information on the white box. Do you see? So that's going to be really interesting to actually discover if that makes it more valuable. Free comic book day. It could be an event, although I don't see any date on it. Anyway, next we have The Possessed. Um, I've never heard of Possessed, but okay. I think that's a mature adult comic. Yes. Yes, it is. Next we have another Marvel Daredevil. Next, we have another Marvel Daredevil. Which is cool, because that's issue 101, issue 103, issue 104, and issue 105. I hope issue 102 is in there. There's another one. I want to open the comic and show you the graphics, but I don't know how that works with copyright, so I better not. Um, this one is Marvel Son of Hulk. Awesome comment. Next we have Mr. Majestic. Oh yeah. I love a bit of Majestic. There's some really hench guy on the back. Like a, a small Hulk or something. Another DC by the look of it, a green arrow. Uh, this one is I'm not sure that way up anyway oh it's DC another DC but it's kind of like it works both ways so it's that way and that way and I think it's Batman I'm not sure JSA and ASJ that's a cool comic I'll keep that one out for a minute Next, we have Angel, Bill William, Near Mint. Next, we have another Marvel comic. Uh, it looks like Cyclops in there, so it's probably X-Men. Awesome. If you're enjoying this video, by the way, and you want to hear about the things that I sell on eBay, my failures on eBay, and all, all, and all, 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 and all other eBay related content and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're notified on my new content and I just want to welcome any new subscribers I know I've got a few new subscribers now if you're a new subscriber just make a comment underneath saying new subscriber so I can welcome you to the channel if you have any comments just make a comment in the comment box I reply to all of them if you enjoyed the video make a comment enjoyed the video Tom well done and I'll reply to that if you didn't like the video and you want to open it up to criticism I am also open to that I'm always looking to improve so drop a comment if you didn't like the video as well that would be much appreciated talking about the description box while we're here in the description box I have some links there or some stuff that I use in my business so if you want to go down and check that out that will be awesome as well okay moving on this one is X-Men. I love X-Men. Wolverine's my favourite X-Man character. That's the point. Who's your favourite X-Man character? Or who's your favourite comic book superhero? Drop a comment and let me know. That's sweet. I love these comics, man. I do. Battle Tide. Oh, Wolverine on the front of that one. That's an X-Men. Look at that. That is epic. Oh, I'm going to leave that out to read myself. Another one here called Moon Knight. That is another epic one. Wow, that is awesome as well. I 
like that. Sorry, 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 sorry. Next we have another X-Men Worlds Apart. Do, do, do. Next we have a Silver Surfer, which is Marvel. I was going to say DC then, but it's not, it's Marvel. Some awesome characters in there. Oh, no way. It's all Woody. Hello, Woody. Great guy. Next, we have a DC comic, Tales of the Teen Titans. There's also a Netflix series on Teen Titans that I did watch, and that was actually really good. Another DC Teen Titans. With advertising Cosmic Boy on the back, which is pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Next we have, this is a cool one, World's Finest. This is a DC comic. Pretty cool. Next we have another DC comic, uh, Detective Comics. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. It looks like Jessica Jones, but Jessica Jones is Marvel. Next, we have another DC Gotham Academy. It looks quite a playful one, doesn't it? Next, we have another X-Men. This one's not in the best condition, but it is old. I mean, look at the color of the paper. It's like pretty much orange. I like it though. I like it. Next we have um, an icon comic, Powers. Powers? Yeah, never heard of that one. Next we have Chapter 43 Saga. Another Marvel X Factor moment. And last one is another Marvel Knights. Looks like Daredevil on the front of that one. So that's all the comics. I hope you got to see all of them clearly. Um, I will look back on the footage anyway. But um, okay, so we're gonna go through quickly how to discover whether a comic is, uh, what issue a comic is, and what variant the comic is, if the comic is a variant, and uh, what print the comic is. We're gonna go through that now. Now, with the silver era, so you've got bronze, silver, and gold comics as well. Uh, they don't have the barcodes. We're getting our information off the barcodes, but you can usually find the information within the first cover. Um, with Silver Series, there isn't a variant on Silver Series. There's no variants. They're just front. Um, they're just first cover prints. Um, but with the others, you can usually find the information when you turn the first page. It's on the bottom. I'm, I'm hoping I've got one here that I can show you. Uh, before sort of barcodes were around. So we're going to use um, this one as an example first. So what I want you to look at is this top part of the comic here. Do you see it? I just want to make sure that focus is in. You see it there? It says 00111. Okay, so the first so what issue of comic it is, what series of comic it is, it tells you on there in a way, hashtag one, but that's what that first one means. The third one across there says a one. Can you see it there? So that tells you what issue the comic is. If it's a double digit, so if it's issue number 10, the one would be before that. So it'd be zero, one, zero. Yeah, see? Just wanna make sure you can see that. See the second number there says a one? 
that means that this isn't a variant. Now, if it was a variant cover, it would have a number two, which would, if it's a number two, that would mean it's the first variant. If it's a number three, that would mean it's the second variant. Now, a lot of these comics will tell you on the cover if the cover is a variant or not, but it won't tell you what variant it is. You, you find that from this little barcode area here. What is a variant? A variant is just a different type of cover based on the same comic. It could be, for example, um, two covers joined into one, so like Marvels, and they've all got Venom masks on, for example. That would be a variant of two comics in one. Um, another variant could be um, a date with um, letters of an event, like Comic-Con. So it'd have a date and Comic-Con, which means that that's a variant. Uh, specifically a promotional variant from the um, from Comic-Con itself or any other event. It usually has the abbreviations of it and say like like the date in CC for example or or, or or something like that but it would definitely have the date so you want to look out for that. Now the last digit there you see that digit there it says one that's the print number there. So this is the first print, okay? So this is the first issue, which we can see there anyway. No variant and the first print. I hope that makes sense to you. I should zoom it in there. It's the little barcode box, you see it? We'll try it on a different one. So we'll go off of this one here. This is the Silver Surfer, okay? You can see at the top there anyway, it says issue seven, but I'll show you where it says that actually on the barcode there. See the barcode, just trying to make sure it zooms in. Just there, you see it says 007. That's because it's the seventh issue of this comic, which means there's six before it. You also have a one next, which means this isn't a variant. And you also have another one after that, which means that is the first print. Okay, now let me see if I can find one with a variant. <laughs> Hopefully, bear with me. Ah, this one here. So this Justice League uh, Dark here, the DC comic. I just have a look at this barcode here at the top. This is the one we're looking at. See it there? It says zero three nine. Yeah, so this is the 39th issue, which means there's 38 issues before this comic, before it gets to this comic. Okay, and you see the variant number there says a two. That means this is the first variant. Okay, not the second, the first. If it had a three, it'd be the second variant. If it had a four, it'd be the third variant. Okay, it says two, so that means this is the first variant, which means this cover is different to the original, which makes it more desirable or more collectible. Um, it also says on the bottom there, variant cover. I don't know if you can see that just there. But it doesn't tell you what variant it is. And it also has a one after that, which tells you that this is a first print. A lot of these are first prints, actually, uh, which is great. That makes it a lot more desirable. So this one is an issue 10. So you see how the one is before it's 010 on the barcode there. You see that? Then the next number is a one, which means this isn't a variant. And it also is the first print which is awesome. I want to see if I can find one that's a different print. Oh, first print. No. They're all first prints. Wow, that's really epic. I'm just trying to find another one for you so we can go through it one more time. One with a variant, if we can find one with a variant. Issue 25, no variant, no variant. 29, no variant. 37, no variant. 2, no variant. 105, 104, 3, no 
my variant. Ah, this one's a variant. So look at this one here. Now there is an actual price tag over the barcode there, but um, I can see what issue it is just by looking at the top. It tells me it's two of six there at the top. I'm gonna try not to bend the comic. And you can see that it's just at the top there, you see? So that's the barcode bit there. We can see that there's a 211 on the end. Yeah. Which isn't a variant. It's the second issue, no variant. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Um, I just want to go for that one. Seventh, no variant. Fourth, no variant. Second, no variant. Ah, this is a really, this is a promotional one. Do you see that one there? That's a promotional one because it says 00020. So this is the first issue before the first issue was printed. It's really quite confusing. Um, 002, which means it's a variant cover and a zero at the end. So you can see it says variant edition there. But that's really interesting because the original one off the first issue is actually color. But this one's black and white and that's the difference in the variants on that okay let's just move these to one side a sec Ugh. i hope this makes sense to you okay so we're looking at onyx now this one here i just want you to take a look at that small section of barcode there do you see that so that is telling me that this is the second issue zero zero two it also the next number after that two is another two which is telling me that this is the first variant. And the number one there is telling me that it's the first print. There we go. And does it say variant on the front? It actually doesn't say variant on the front. But it is a variant. So they don't always tell you. Okay, so X Factor. This is really interesting because it has no barcode on it. So how do you tell how do you find out the information of it? Well, you first you look at the front cover. This one is a... Bear with me. Part five. So it's issue five. It says it up there. So we know there's four books before that. So that gives you your first number, 005. And then we need to discover the rest of the information, which you can find out on this one on the first page at the bottom. It's got all the information there that you need to know what comic this is, what variant, if it's a variant comic, which this one isn't, because I think it is a silver era, and uh, what print it is. That's all there. And you can find that on the first page of most comics. But if you can't find it, then just look up the comic itself and it will tell you on there. This one says volume one of 48. So we know it's um, volume one of 48 and it was made in December 1989. And it's got a lot of other information there as well. It says there's 12 issues of this one in particular. This is part five of 12. So there we go. That is kind of my basic knowledge on comics. I hope that helps you out. Um, if I made any mistakes there, just, you know, drop a comment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out these videos.